I did not tip the girl who did my braids yesterday and this is the first time I haven't tipped to get my hair done and I was fueled with anxiety especially when I hand her over the cash and she starts counting it and I was like <gasps> I just did not feel like tipping was necessary on this service for reference this was $350 to get done these are small knotless and this is a french curl braid that averages out took her seven and a half hours 46 dollars an hour minus the cost of hair so we'll just round it down to 40 dollars an hour she didn't have to commute she's not paying any extra overhead because she works from home i think that that's a really good price how many people are making 40 dollars an hour i want to also add that i had to go to the atm which is the most inconvenient method of payment to go get the exact amount of cash that i need for the appointment i also had to come wash conditioned and blow dried and i was the one that had to do the commuting this is no shade no tea no nothing this was the most comfortable braiding experience i've ever gotten she was the best braider i've ever had and i will definitely be going back to her a lot of people say tipping is how you say things Thank you but to me saying thank you is how you say thank you respecting people's policies arriving to your appointment on time being respectful of the space that you're in letting them take photos of their work after and maybe telling your friends or if you have a social media following that to me is how you say thank you we don't need to bump someone's $40 an hour work up to 45 to say thank you sue me sue me Wagwan guys, what's going on? I hope you're doing well. I cannot complain myself. I wanted to react to this video for a while now. It was on tipping. That's that's the part I wanted to react to. But this lady uh, basically was going to get her hair braided. And that was the confusion, right? She was getting her hair done. That was where the confusion came in at. So uh, obviously she had to commute to this lady's uh, place of business, it being her home. Or maybe the other, other ladies who braid her hair maybe they commute to her i'm not too sure how that normally works but that was an issue that she had brought up that she had to go to this lady's house and then there was all these conditions that she had to meet you know had to have her hair washed conditioned blow dried and all that stuff she did not i mean i know when you're getting your hair braided right you, you know you have to buy hair but I, that wasn't that was that wasn't a complaint that made it on her list or whatever so i guess she's cool with that but it, it's I will say this first it's all these things like when you're going to get serviced or whatever you're paying for that service uh you know uh in particular right just to get your hair braided so like all these other things that it's just like extracurricular activities that you know no, i mean I, I don't think that's okay that's working on an individual basis but you know when speaking about tipping i, I don't know it, it looks like her hair is, looks good to me right so she, she probably i don't know if she like you know should have tipped her or what i'm not too sure right and this is the thing she said it was like maybe it took maybe a long time four or seven hours i'm guessing and what what needs to happen is they need to incorporate the tip in, into their um in, in, into their service right so if it was like maybe four hundred dollars or however much she said it was that the tip probably should have made it in there some type of way if she wants to like tax it on like if if if, you, if you're not meeting your you know if you're not meeting your requirements you're not meeting the budget just off of getting paid for that service that you're doing you need to up your prices to stay in business that's like you know let's you know come on Let's not be in 2024 and you're like depending on business to you're depending on tips to keep your business afloat. And let's not do that. But um, I'll say this. I was the guy who all I mean, I'm going to tip you regardless of the situation. I'm going to tip you for the work that you've you've been doing. But since, you know, recent experiences, time elapsed, you know, I just that has changed completely right maybe i had like three different experiences but i'll say one experience right now so i'm going to uh i'm going to this restaurant basically i'm you know i i, I sometimes i don't have like uh, enough time to cook myself so you know you got to go and gr grab a bite to eat or whatever right so trying to dodge the fast food line and basically just bring dinner home and you know because i got work to do but um you know you get tired of going through uh mcdonald's or whatever these these places that really don't require a tip but you know it's just sometimes that's not what you're wanting to eat right and especially for me uh, i was actually going out of my way not to go to places where i had the tip because i was like well let me just you know let me uh let me abstain from doing that and uh you know because i would like to tip right 
and if he, if I can't afford it, then okay, I'm gonna sit that one out. But then, you know, you come up to a time where like, okay, you know, I'm gonna make this this, this uh, you know, it, I'm gonna make a, a slot for me to you know enjoy myself with the meal. Okay, so I go and do that right, and um, I order beef. Okay. And I end up getting chicken. Now, the chicken was really good. I, I'm eating. I'm like, wow, I can see why, you know, people order chicken. But I ordered beef. That was the thing. I wanted beef. So I ordered it. But I end up getting chicken. So I was like, eh, not, you know, I really didn't want this, but I'm eating it. it. I mean, it tasted really good. But I end up tipping this guy like 20%, maybe even 20, 20 plus percent, right? Because it was just like one of those keep the change type of thing. And that changed my mind on the whole tipping thing because i'm like well if i'm tipping for customer service and then i'm not getting the you know what i'm saying i'm not getting that at the end of the day i'm not getting and here goes another one right so i'm going to this place right bringing dinner home and i always tip going here always 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 and i would go like i started i started going maybe even two to three times a week that's how that, that's how it was going you feel me and first two people tipped them tipped them, they were so thankful dude these people this one dude was just like hey man every time i tip hey dude thank you for the tip man i really appreciate i'm like yeah, no no worries man right good customer service you feel me and then i it's i i get a new person and it's from the jump it's it's confusion right i don't know if i'm i don't know if i if I'm like I'm talking too low, or if I they want me to yell into the into the thing, because I'm going to the drive thru right? I'm just bringing it. I'm bringing dinner home, and just can't understand my order. And not, no, so I know you're hearing me, but it just seems like you don't understand my order. And then I'm asking for something like, look, this is what I'm asking for. Go ahead and just you know bill it, you know bill me it, and and, and we're good. You feel me? But then it's like a discrepancy with my order. It's like you hear. It's not that you don't hear me. It's like you don't want to. Like I, I just that that's where the cognitive dissonance come comes in, right? And now they're at war with me because what I'm asking for costs too much. And they're like, well, I well well if you put this as like you know uh, entree instead of just adding it, or, or or you can just add this extra and it'll actually be cheaper if you do. Man, you figure that out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't tell me i'm ordering what i'm ordering you figure that out on your machine how you want to charge me okay and then we'll, we'll be good with it you, you feel me if there's a cheaper way to put it on there you know how to do it do it you know I, you don't have to argue with me and, and how you see what i'm saying all that type of stuff you feel me that that, that was the first thing and then it was when i got there it was just straight up attitude and i, I felt like this per, obviously i knew this person was like you know uh, cause the, it, it wasn't the same person. Right. So obviously I don't know what's going on, but this is like a new, per I don't know it, it new to me. Right. And now my order's wrong. I ordered, I didn't change my order. I ordered what I ordered. This person was trying to change. My, I'm like, I mean, can I not get the mac and cheese and the baked potato? Like what's the, pro you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the problem with me getting a baked potato and some mac and cheese right and a pulled pork sandwich what's like what's you feel me what's the big deal about that and it just seemed like that was the most confusing thing to i mean it was so absurd for somebody to come to this barbecue joint and order that that's how that that that, that, that that's what that, that that's what was happening you feel me that's how i felt so uh <laughs> kind of funny now but they get my order wrong, right? Because this lady obviously just doesn't want to. She doesn't want to uh, punch in on her screen. What she doesn't want to do that because it costs too much. It just costs too much for her. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Ridiculous! It was like a fifteen dollar plate. Come on, man. But uh, so I have to go back up there now. My food's cold, and I'm like, I am never tipping. This. I just, I'm never tipping this place, right? And then when you think about it. You're tipping, you re you really should be because the food's good. That's where you're tipping, right? Because it's a good, it's a good place. The food's good, so you're really tipping the cook. And if the customer service bad, why are you tipping in the first place? You see what I'm saying? 
So I just like completely, I, I just completely stopped tipping, man. And if the, like if it, the customer service is not good, and even if you go to a place and you, you know, you're just trying to get a croissant, all right, they're gonna they're gonna ask you for a tip there. It's like everybody is just trying to get you to tip. So it's like if you're not if you can't, you know, uh, live off that wage and you're depending on tip, dude. You're I mean it's 2024. I'm sorry, man. They need to etch that into the bill some type of way. You feel me? But that and, and I'll say this lastly because this video that I'm reacting to is about hair. And I'll say this lastly, I uh, I used to I used to have dreads right before I cut it right. Before I had to had the chop, I had to make that chop. You feel me? So um, it was this African lady I went to, and she she twist. I, I would get like a retwist every now and again. So I would just go to her to get the retwist right, and I would tip her all the time. I mean, every single time. It's a it's a it's a like you know black black African lady braiding my hair. I mean, uh, yeah, she would braid it too, or whatever. And hey. I didn't really even ask for the braid. I just wanted to get a retwist. And I'm like, you know what? I I'll tip you. You know, so I just I just tipped her. And um, I guess I tipped her really well. And then like uh, one of the last times I got I got a uh, twisted because I, I knew I mean a, a retwist because I knew I would have to be cutting my hair pretty soon. Uh, sadly, but uh, <laughs> no, not at all. But uh, she ends up. You know, giving me, I guess she she gives me her phone number, and uh, she's like, "Hey, if you come to Africa anytime, call me, and uh, I got you or whatever." So I'm like, "Oh, that that's cool." So sometimes I guess it is it is cool to tip. You feel me? And you know, sometimes if the, if the customer service and the service that you're, you know, you're, you're going there for is good, then then tip. But if it's not, I'm not tipping, dude. I used to be the guy that just be like, "I'm gonna tip." But that has like automatically changed. That's what I got for you, man. Peace. I'm out.